And a lot of times we see other people grinding. We see them doing so good. And we're envious for that. We want that. We desire that. We hunger for it. But like when you're really put in the struggle, when you're really in the struggle, there's only two types of people. There are the people that face their problems and they're the people that run away from it and hide from it. And what I'm starting to see is like everybody thinks that things in life come so easy. Listen, I did not get to the place in my life. And I'm, and I'm still at the bottom of the food chain, but I am hungry and I'm declaring success. So I'm just declaring success for those that are hungry for success, for those who have goals, that have dreams, that have visions. It is not about where you are right now in your life. Just be encouraged, be strong, and know that at every level, there is a new devil. And that's the reality. When you want to achieve success, when you want to be great, when you know that there is a purpose and destiny for your life, you're going to run into opposition. You're going to run into hard times. But within that hard time, and I'll let you know what happens in that hard time. God begins to work something in you, a supernatural strength, supernatural favor that begins to transform in your life and begins to unlock greatness within you. See, greatness does the money does not determine greatness. Material things do not determine the greatness. What determines greatness is when you go through the fire, when you go through the fire, when you have a vision and you go through the fire and you are refined. I'm gonna let you know know something gold is um see so the process of gold right it's 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 heated up to about 2000 degrees fahrenheit to get it to its fullest potential to get it refined to the way that it's supposed to be so that it can be in its purest form just like a diamond when you see a diamond it's a rock your eye is not going to notice that it's a diamond until it has pressure that is put on it until it's chipped and, and chiseled away and then at the end of the process of the diamond at the end of the cooling process of the gold you then have it in its pure form so I'm not really understanding how you guys think this lifestyle comes easy starting in foster care not having any parents not having anything to do I don't care what your situation is I don't care what it looks like you need to trust the process and if you can't trust the process don't expect to level up sometimes you got to do things that you're not comfortable doing you know how many couches I've slept on? How many times I've slept in my car? How many times people have told me no? How many times people have rejected me and told me that I would never be nothing? And if I listened to them, I would not be here right now. Trust the process and allow the process to refine you. If you know that you are destined for success, if you know there is something that you want to achieve, but there's an obstacle in the way, if you turn around, how do you know that you would not be able to break through until you stand and trust the process and allow yourself to be refined? And some of us, we need, you, some of us, the reason why we don't get blessed with some of the things that should be ours, because God said to man, be blessed, be fruitful and multiply. God gave man dominion and authority over the earth. The only reason that Satan had dominion and authority over earth is because man made a decision and gave his will to Satan, which makes Satan the ruler of this world, which is why there are the systems and the principalities that are against us, which is why the system is set up to oppress those who want to succeed. Interesting fact. 5% of the population of the world makes up 95% of the world's wealth. And then there are 95% of us who are working nine to fives, working regular jobs out there slaving and only make up 5% of the income. So what's the difference between the 5% that hold the 95% of the wealth and the 95% that only hold 5% of the wealth? It's because those 5% that hold the 95% of the wealth are hungry. It's not that they're smarter, it's that they're hungry and that when they go through the fire, they are willing to withstand. Listen, when you're hungry for it, it's going to happen, but you have to stand, you have to trust the process. That's all I wanted to say, man. Trust the process, man. Stop watching other people grind and wanting what they have, but you're not willing to go that extra mile because that's all you're going to be is average. And all you're doing is fooling yourself. You're saying, I'm great, I'm this, I'm that. If you're great, then when trials and tribulations come against your life, you will not worry and you will trust the process and know that God will bring unto completion what he began in you. No, no, no one, no one, no one gets anywhere overnight. No one gets to that place of success overnight. No one attains and achieves success overnight. That's not how it happens. 
in the midst of that success, there's ob obstacles. There's obstacles going on in my life right now that you don't see. What you're seeing is a story. You're seeing the trending line. You're seeing the timeline. But you don't understand the pain, the struggle, the sleepless nights, and everything else that comes with it. But you know what? I got to trust the process, and I got to trust in God. That's just a quick word I had for y'all, because I see some of y'all, man, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, you say you're hungry for it, you want it, but if you really wanted something, then you would chase it, and you would achieve it, and you would trust the, you in the midst of it, no matter what came against you, what opposition, what trial, what tribulation, what challenge, you would withstand, and you would trust the process. That's all I wanted to say, man. I'm out of here. Be blessed.